Joe James and in this video I'm going to show you how to write a bubble sort program in Python. So let's review real quickly in a very small list here how the bubble sort works. It starts by comparing the first two items in the list. In this case 3 and 2. If 3 is greater then they'll swap places. It compares the next two items. If the item on the left is greater than the one on the right they swap places. In this case they're not. We compare the next two items. If the 4 is greater than the 1 they swap places. Now we'll start from the beginning of the list again. We compare the first two items, 2 and 3. 2 is not greater, so they don't swap. We compare the 3 and the 1. The 3 is greater, so they swap places. And we don't need to compare the 3 and the 4 now because we know the 4 is already the maximum number on the list. So we go back to the 2 and the 1. The 2 is greater, so we swap places. And now we're done with the sort. So we went through the list three times. We have a four item list. We use a nested loop to solve this problem. So our outer loop Let's say we use a loop variable i. We'll range from 0 to n minus 1, where n is the number of items in the list. So 0 to 3. And the inner loop, j, will go from 0 to n minus 1 minus i, because we know that that last item in the list is already sorted. So let's see how we code this in Python. We'll start out by defining a bubble sort function. And we'll accept an argument called my list. Our outer for loop for i in range 0 to n, length of my list is basically the number of items in the list, minus 1. The inner for loop, j is in range 0 to length of my list, minus 1, minus i, as we explained in a previous slide. And then inside the inner loop, we're going to compare the item with the item on its right. If the item on the left is larger than the item on the right, then they swap places. And then we return the sorted list. We have a nested loop, we have a comparison, and swap. So to use our bubble sort function, we'll create a list. We'll call it the list. We'll throw half a dozen items in there in unsorted order. And then to call the function, we can say print bubble sort the list. So it'll return the sorted list and then print it out. The bubble sort is a relatively slow sorting algorithm. So if you have only a few items to sort, let's say thousands or tens of thousands, the bubble sort will work fine because it's simple and easy to implement. But if you have a lot of elements to sort, like a million or more, you're much better off using a faster sorting algorithm like merge sort. That wraps up our Python bubble sort video. I'm Joe James. Thanks for watching.